Hey folks, today we're going to show you how to disable Cortana. Now, what you're going to do in your computer is press Control-Alt-Delete and see right here where it says Cortana. And notice it's uh, pretty much a memory hog. It uses a lot of memory and it also bogs down your system and slows it down. So first we're going to show you the problem that people have when they try to shut it off. Watch, we do end task and watch how it comes back in about three seconds and it's back again. And you can do that, you know, over and over and it will never, ever uh, disappear. So I'm going to show you how you disable it. What you're going to do, it's a little tricky, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can do it where it's uh, easy for you to do it. I'll show you a little secret. You're going to click um, on Cortana, double click, then right click on this other Cortana here. See how it says open file location and then click that. Okay, so when the screen loads, you're gonna notice, look around here and you'll see that this part is shaded here and it's showing you where Cortana is at. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky, okay? It's easy to do, but you gotta be fast. When you go to right click, and you choose rename, what you're going to do, just go to the very end and press dot, like a period, B-A-K. Now I'm going to spend a few moments telling you what happens here. When you go to try to change this, it will not let you change it because Cortana's running in the background. It's like a catch-22. And you know what you just saw, every time you try to shut it down, it comes back in three seconds. However, there's this little three second window <laughs> where if you can change this folder name to back before the three seconds is up and Cortana rears its ugly head again, you can disable Cortana. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. You're gonna press enter on this and then a screen will pop up. So notice when you try to change it, it says, and this is normal, so don't let it freak you out. I'm going to show you how to get around this. It'll say the action can't be completed. The folder is in use. You'll notice that uh, right here, Cortana is still running. So the trick is, is to, you know, click in task. And then you're going to go back to the other screen real quick. Like, you know, just alt tab over there, just click there and then change the file folder because watch what happens when I do in task notice Cortana's gone and it's back again so we have literally that time while it's gone is when you have to do this this little block right here this try again button so as soon as Cortana <laughs> disappears you're going to click try again and you're going to notice it disables Cortana so this is a secret on how you can disable it. So watch, I'm going to show you. And um, of course, it helps if you kind of have the window, you know, ready next to the other, you know, task manager. So you're going to press Control Alt Delete. You want to make sure you have Cortana here ready. And then you also have your background file folder change ready you're going to change it so watch this we're going to do in task immediately i click try again now it changed it now we're going to go and i'm going to show you on the task manager that cortana is dead and gone it's not running so back with us here at the task manager notice cortana is not there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the ultimate test. We're going to reboot the computer and then we're going to press control alt delete. We're going to load task manager again and see if Cortana reboots itself. Hopefully it doesn't. I'm that Cortana is officially dead and gone. It's not running in the background, thus making your computer a lot faster and freeing up resources. Now we have this guide in writing. If you go to shakanow.com at the top of this video and you can follow along in writing if you prefer following the guide in writing rather than video. And don't forget to go to shakanow.com for software that will speed up your computer. Check out our free stuff area. We have lots of great free software there for you. Thanks, guys. God bless.